strength that I feel now. I've never felt that type of strength. So why did Tiger agree to do these interviews and why now? And did he help or hurt his image yesterday? Joining us right now is the former senior director of media relations for the New York Yankees, Rick Cerrone. Rick, you've been in some tough spots with tough clients from Jason Giambi on down with the New York Yankees. Tiger Woods is your client. Was he right not to address the incident since it's in the police report? Was he right not to talk about what addiction he has or didn't have? Well, I'd like to have seen him do a little bit more about the incident, but he doesn't owe us that. It, it is in the police report. I don't think we're going to get that. I mean, look, Tiger Woods has done three things since this incident. The public apology on his website, the televised public apology, and these interviews. This is the first time where I really feel like he got it right. But Rick, I, I was curious. I thought his answer was very curious. They asked him what he's in treatment for. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't answer. Isn't one of the first cardinal rules of treatment that you acknowledge the disease? Well, maybe he's not there yet, but maybe it's difficult for someone to say, I'm in for sex rehabilitation. And maybe there are so many issues at play here that there are things that he doesn't want or he's not comfortable discussing. Like yet. drugs? Well, you know what? I'm not going to go there. But maybe, with, you know, the question was asked about his father. What would your father say? You know, we don't know where the relationship with his father plays into this whole thing. Sure. We just don't know. And you know what? I don't know that we really really are owed any more than we're getting. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some cynics who would say he is just doing this to get back in America's good graces so he can go out and hit the ball and make some money. Well, duh. I mean, you know, that's what he's got to do. I mean, look, the price he's paying and the only price he's paying is to his image and to his endorsements. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Mark McGuire's price that he paid, even though he's back in a cardinal uniform, his price is he's not getting in the Hall of Fame. Tiger Woods has a lot of time. He said it. The proof is in the pudding to, to rebuild that. He's never going to get back where he once was, but it, that might be okay. Last question was CBS. When they heard they could only get five minutes CBS said forget it forget the interview mm -hmm. who's right well, you know, they're both right. I mean, Tigers people have a right to put a restriction on, and I would, I would have liked to have said, and I might have said, okay, let's give them 10 minutes, but you're going to get restrictions. Uh, you know, it's funny. His answers are so short that he gave them a lot more time to ask more questions. If he had only been more forthcoming in the answers, there'd have been a lot less questions. The filibustering that some other there people do. All right, uh, Rick Serrano, it's a pleasure. Thanks for getting right. early. All right, straight ahead.